Hello guys and welcome back to Wheels Maniac and today we are having the beautiful and the astonishing BMW XX with us and just by the looks you can see how muscular and mighty it looks so without wasting any further time let's begin with the vlog of this car So guys let's begin with the vlog of the BMW X6 so here's the key of the car which gets the M colors on it and it's a quite a normal key and firstly I want to show the beautiful engine bay of this BMW and it is as simple as it gets to open it over here it gets insulation and this is the beautiful BMW twin power turbo a uh, 3 liter 6 cylinder petrol engine which produces 355 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque and as you can see it gets four strut bars over here and it's pushed a bit back to the cabin for optimum weight distribution of BMW and this engine takes car from 0 to 100 in just 5.5 seconds with a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour and it's quite a powerful and quick car so let me shut it off oh, i'll do it later and there's a beautiful big bmw logo up humongous grill at front and the beautiful headlights over here and these are not the laser lights these are the bmw leds over here and they look phenomenal at the night time for the turning indicator uh, and DRL everything of that of sort and this grill is right now closed and it opens when it needs to breathe so it improves the aerodynamic efficiency of the car by a lot extent and over here is the front camera yeah now the hood is closed and you can see how aggressive the bumper looks like all the curts creases like the front parking sensors and everything over here looks phenomenal indeed and many vents are fake over here but some are functional also so that's quite nice and overall this car looks just humongous in size like in the photos or videos the, the size doesn't seem to be that big but in person this is humongous and over here are the wheels like the front tires are 275 45 20 inch and it gets a blue color brake caliper for the m sport and these are huge tires and even at the back the tires are even bigger these are 305 40 20 and 305 profile come in like lamborghini huracan and all so you can just imagine how broad the tires are and this is the back look of the car and if we come over here it gets some vents which are again fake and there's the BMW M logo, side mirror, so it gets a camera on it. And all the doors get passive entry, you just need to keep your hand in and the car unlocks. There is the fuel lid. And overall, the side look of the car also looks very nice, but yeah, of course, it is a BMW X5 with a sloping roof line, you can call it in that way also. And over here, it gets a subtle spoiler sort of the shark fin antenna over there. Again, a subtle spoiler and this is the back look of the car which is the most meanest and the best look and uh, just look at this, this lexus type tail lamps and all let me show you the indicators once like yeah this is the light and over here it says x drive 40i and bmw logo bmw x6 this is the reverse parking camera and we get some diffuser sort of treatment and two very much functional exhaust like the outlet looks a bit big the exhaust a bit small but they are original not of that like audis and mercedes so let's open the boot so of course it gets an electronic tailgate and the boot opens along with the rear windscreen and the boot is humongous but not bigger than that of the x5 because it gets a sloping roof line over here and over here it also says xx so you can close it like this let's open it for the moment and let me show the spare wheel so it also gets a hydraulic cover for the spare wheel and this is the spare wheel of the car it's a 155 18 19 inch wheel so that's also quite nice over here some 12 charging socket written x over there so let's close the boot so like this just press a button and the boot closes uh, if we get to the rear seat of the car which is not a that much highlight over here but the doors are phenomenal indeed and look the quality of the materials the design everything looks very nice and it gets manually adjustable sun shades which is a bit disappointing because for this price point you expect an electronic ones and this is the rear seat of the car and this there is not much space as such at the back frankly say 
and you sit a bit low and that has the port is a bit okay only where he gets a type c port along with the ipad holder slot over there uh magazine holder ac vents over here and this is for the climate control system it gets a four zone climate control and at the back three people will only be comfortable because of this protruding out a bit and a little hump over there it also gets a center armrest so like it gets storage space in there also and twin cup holders along with that and at the back two people would be comfortable but not that much because it's not that comfortable over here so in this respect i will choose the bmw x5 of course so let's get to the main part which is the front driver's seat of the car because it contains a lot of tech and of course it's a driver's car so let's check that out and over here are the controls for the seat opening the boot lock and lock the car and this controls over here for the windows and humongous door pads over there so and over here are the seat controls like front back lumbar support bolstering and these are controls for the headlight of the car and beautiful pedals over there so let's get in doors are extremely heavy like they are and they also shut with a proper third so let me turn on the car once and if you see over here it gets a proper digital cluster and over here is the button to turn on the car so guys let's turn on the vehicle so this is the engine start stop button over here so i press this and it roars to life and this petrol engine sounds extremely good as well so first we start with the digital instrument cluster of the car so right now it is in comfort mode so you can see this view and if we change the mode of the car the view also changes like if we get into eco pro so it changes and right now like this we get into sport so it again changes so let's be in comfort for the moment and on the right side like you can see right now it should cuff the mode as well as the gear position indicator and if we press the button over here which shows bc so we can change the display over here so right now i'm showing the fuel economy and trip data and the power and torque meter which is very nice and of course gets a g-force meter as well in it so, so cool that's and there's the audio and again we get back into that and on the left it shows the fuel meter along with the range and on the right shows the temperature meter and of course it has lost the charm like the previous dials were better but right now this is what it is we have to live with and over here are the control for the cruise control system and over here the control of the audio system of the car and gets beautiful terrific quality pedals over here which are uh, aluminium ones and they feel so good to operate now we have the headlight controls like for the upper dipper and the indicators and over here are the wiper controls you can look these beautiful ac vent like the double vents look so phenomenal with the speakers and it gets a harman kardon system in it and this is the beautiful bmw i drive controller over here so let's get into home for the moment and over here you can see beautiful like media and you can browse through everything like that and also get some cool tech like if we get into car driving information and we can see, see the sport dips place like i know i show it all the time but it is cool very and it also gets this x view on it which shows the leaning angle the steering percentage and everything like of course for the off-road use and you can also check the energy flow like of course it's a four wheel drive system so you can check which tire is getting power at the right time so let's get back and of course the audio system is also phenomenal and you can also use it by ha, touch screen as well as the i drive controller over here and also with the gestures so that's very cool of it and over here are the beautiful ac vents and a phenomenal treatment done over here and let me show you the beautiful display of the ac vents like when we turn on so how cool the animation is in there and also when we turn it off so yeah how cool is that now he gets a proper knurled finish metal openers and it also feels quite nice and this air conditioning is a proper chiller and over here is the control for the audio system only and over here you get a proper storage space 
so like this you can open it and over here gets twin cup holders one which gets an ashtray and a cigarette lighter as well in it so yeah like that and over here is a wireless charging pad and this is a beautiful bmw crystal gear lever over here which says x in it and of course this is a pack accessories pack and over here is a button for the traction control the camera system let me show the cameras of the car so right now the cam rear camera and this is the 360 degree camera of the car like you can select which camera you want to see from the back view a third eye view this is the rear view and of course a phenomenal unit indeed and it also gets reversing assistance what it does it remembers your last 50 meters of steering inputs and make you back in that only and it is useful in tight parking positions and over here are the i drive control and electronic parking this for the different modes and where it gets some space with the usb c socket and it only gets a regular usb over here otherwise all the usb in this car are usb c's and and these both of the cup holders are cooled as well as heated so you can cool it or heat it as per your choice so that's also very cool of it and over here's a glove box which is a decent size one and it also gets a light in it and well the quality of the cabin is phenomenal and how far down you go everywhere is just soft plastic only no hard plastic in this car and if we come to the top of it so we hit gets beautiful lights and you can also open the sunroof so this is the phenomenal not a very big one but yeah a sufficiently large sunroof over here and these are the like the sun visors and it also gets lights in it that's also quite nice and overall the cabin feel extremely good just uh, there's an issue that of practicality so there's the x5 standing over there of course both are same in size of almost but it gets a sloping roof line that doesn't so that make it more practical even for the rear seat passenger as well as for the boot carrying capacity so according for me i will personally choose the x5 over the x6 any day because they both get the same performance and even that's more practical indeed so overall x is also very nice car if you want a style statement of course this car is for you so let's end the vlog right here and let's see you guys in another vlog really soon till then bye bye guys and have a nice day